Okay, I want to start off by giving all praise and honor and glory. Call the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Racha, Kodas, Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that told me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity. Um, Shalom to the Akim and Akwap out there listening and learning. Um, once again, this is a fellow servant, Yahweh Sop, out of the GMS Cleveland Church, um, coming at you with another lesson out of um, this book I came across um, called The Judgment of Babylon, The Fall of America. Um, view, view of it um, by Roger King. And basically, um, I wanted to do a lesson on the book because, like I said, I do... Um, try to do a lot of reading um, <clears throat> outside of the Bible not too much secular stuff but you know books that are edifying to you know the word and the message that we're pushing and you know just through the spirit I came across this book I figured I'd do a lesson out of it um, so continuing where I left off at it says there are too many prophecies pointing in that direction however I could not prove that until I found the answer to one prophecy that uh, so this book is about how to recognize the event and other events that will happen in a seven year period. Um, I'm going to skip that. Well, no. We are very close to the start of those last seven years. The events that is the catalyst to the start of the last seven years will most likely be a major annihilation of nuclear facilities in Iran by Israel. That's the spirit. There has to be a major event to make the Iranians, the UN, or the European Union, along with the U.S., to confirm a treaty known as the Confirmation of the Covenant. I don't know what that means. This treaty will start the last seven years and will then be broken three and one half years later with the judgment of Babylon and the fall of America. Then yet to come will be Armageddon uh, um, or Yahweh uh, Shapat. Um, at the end of the seven years, this book is a guide to help you find this information in the Bible. America is going to lose its power, which we be, which the Akim and the brothers always speak on. But if we turn back to Yahweh, we may not be destroyed, which um, I don't agree with. You know, I've listened to a lot of um, so-called believers that believe, you know, it, it just says, says in scripture that um, if we were to turn back and repent, that, um, you know, he would heal us, but I'm going to actually find that. But, you know, it also says in scripture that he know we won't um, turn back. Um, bear with me for a second. It's a scripture in Jeremiah. <coughs> it says, if that nation against whom I've pronounced turn from their evil, I will I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. If it do evil in my sight that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I will benefit. But that was really more so talking to, um, you know, Israel. And at the end of the day, you know, in the book of Zechariah, it says, you know, two thirds are going to be destroyed because at the end of the day, the Most High, you know, it, like like how Esau is programmed to do wickedness. He doesn't know how to do good. You know, even two thirds, Jake. You know what I mean? All they know is is evil, you know. So Jake is so wicked that he taught the wicked his ways, you know what I mean? Um, but um, continue, America's going to, uh, I read that. The war that is coming will kill two billion people by fire, smoke, and brimstone. And in a very short time, as Revelations 9, 13, and 20. 
the I believe he's talking about the nuclear missiles. Right. So, well, he's quoting this um, Revelations 9 and 16, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand, and I heard the number of them. But what he doesn't realize is that, that that wasn't talking about people. That was talking about the nuclear missiles. That's why it's an army of horsemen. Um, I... Uh, I'm going to um, skip past this part and jump straight to chapter 2. It says the seven trumpets, starting from the first trumpet, which we got Trump in office, <laughs> blast, it will be exactly 100 years on July 28, 2014. You need to know these trumpets to know where we are in the timing of events. If you can see that one and six of these trumpets have sounded, the rest will be much easier to understand. Revelations 8. One through six, seven seal, prelude to the seven trumpets. When he opened the seven seal, <coughs> Salakia, I'm going to go straight to the scripture. Eight. Um, when he, he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in the heaven about the space of half an hour. Verse two. And. I saw the seven angels which stood before Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and to them were given seven trumpets. Verse 3 And another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. Verse 4 And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before Yahweh out of the angel's hand. Verse 5, and the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the heart. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. A trumpet one, World War One started on July 28, 1914. Revelations 8 and 7, the first angel sounded it. And hail and fire follow with blood. <coughs> it's lucky. And they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the trees was burnt up, and all the green grass was burnt up. It says Revelations 8 and 7. I believe this to be World War One. However, there is nothing to judge us against. When wars were fought prior to World War II, the army would burn homes, crops, anything that could help the enemy's fire. Trump and two World War II started in 1939. There's 25 years between World War One and World War Two. Revelations 8, 8 and 9. The second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. Trumpet 3. Chernobyl happened on April 26, 1986. There is 47 years between World War II and Chernobyl. Revelations 8, 10, and 11. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of water. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. This is a disaster at Chernobyl in Russia. Chernobyl is a Ukrainian word for wormwood, which is found in most Bibles. There is a lot of information available on this subject. The best is a video or DVD available online by searching Chernobyl. Revelations 8, 12, and 13. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as third part of them was darkened and the day shone for for a third part of it and the night likewise verse 13 and I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of the heaven saying with a loud voice whoa 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 meaning destruction to the inhabitants 
of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. Trumpet 5, the Gulf War started in 1990, a one-year war for America was five months. There are four years between Chernobyl and the Gulf War. Revelations 9, 1 through 11. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven and onto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit. So, you know, but the bottomless pit is going into Europe, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace, and sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Verse 3, And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Verse 4, and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of Yahweh in their foreheads. Verse 5. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months, and their torment was as the torment of when he struck up a man. Verse 6. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Verse 7, And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. Verse 8, And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. Verse 9, And they had breastplates as it were, breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of the chariots of many horses running to battle. Verse 10, and they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt me in five months. And 11, verse 11, Salakia, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. The name of the prince of the bottomless pit in Greek, Apollyon, in English destroyer in the Iraq language is Saddam. The smoke from the burning wells covered the whole land for a period of three months and was extinguished by an American company, one well at a time. If you would check out the length of the war, you would find it took about five months to complete. Trumpet 6, the four angels were loose on September 11, 2001. There's 11, there's 11 years between the Gulf War and the 9-11 attacks. Revelations 9, 13-21. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the fourth horns of the golden altar which is before Yahweh. Verse 14 saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loosened the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates 15 and the four angels were loosened which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. Verse 16 and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousands I heard the number of them which are the missiles Verse 17, And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jessic, and of brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. 18, By these three was the third part of men killed by fire, and by the smoke, and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. Verse 19, For their power is in their mouth, and their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. Verse 20. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils, and idols of gold, and silver, and brass, and stone, and of wood, which neither can see, nor hear, nor walk. Verse 21, neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornifications, nor of their thefts. So at the end of the day, like I just read how he said, he think if we went back, we could actually like repent and he would spare the judgment. But it just told you in the scripture, they won't repent. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was the spirit. Um, so... This took it off. Uh, uh, 
It says, uh, see, he's trying to say 200 million men. China has boasted, but the 200 million men is not men. It's, like I said, it's the nuclear warheads, it's the missiles. Um, so I'm going to even just skip that. Uh, well, you know something? Uh, this, I'm going to just jump to chapter um Three, and I'm gonna start on the book of Daniel, and then I'm gonna um, end the lesson because, yeah, I just want to do my last video. I'm trying to finish this book as quick as possible, but I do have to work in the morning. He's going. It says America, the beginning, Daniel seven and four. The first was like a lion and had eagles eagle's wings I beheld till the wings thereof was plucked and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet of, as a man and the man's heart was given it to it Daniel 7 1 through 8 in the first year of Belshazzar king of Babylon Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters verse 2 Daniel spake and said I saw in my vision by night and behold the four winds of the heavens drove upon the great sea verse 3 and four great beasts came up from the sea diverse one from another verse 4 the first was a lion and had eagle's wings I beheld till the wings were thereof were plucked and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet as a man and a man's heart was given to it Verse 5, and behold, another beast, a second like to bear. Salakia. Salakia. And it raised up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. And they said, Thus unto it arise, devour much flesh. Verse 6, after this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. Verse 7, after this I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong and seedly in the head, iron teeth, and devouring, breaking pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. Now, when you go into this, um, verse 8, I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots and behold in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man and the mouth speaking great things and when you go into this basically Daniel is talking about the, the different kingdoms and with that I'm going to um, end the lesson uh, I just trying to finish my third lesson and um, this shit is still on my back uh, so with that Salakia with that I want to give all praise honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Archa, Kadash, Barkatha, double honors to the apostles and elders, Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, and risking their lives on the freedom to do so. And um, Lord will, Adawan Ratazza, Yahweh Ratazza, uh, I'm able to do another lesson tomorrow evening. Uh, with that, I want to say Shalom, Shalom, and a ball, ball, ball.